Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. I know it's windy. I, I blame Bobo. Bobo. Ah. Yeah. So, uh, I got my birthday present today. It's not my birthday, but it was. <laughs> so, uh, what I was, and there's sunshine everywhere. Hold on. Yay, birthday! <laughs> yeah. So, I had a, had a pocket rocket stove that I'll show you. What I had in my bug out bag, or I guess it's my get home bag. Some people don't have a difference, but I do. But, so that's what I carried in there, and I'm going to show you a comparison between what I did carry and what I get to carry now. Okay. So, this is the stove that I had. I guess I still have it, but this is what I had in my pack, and it fit in this container. It just folds up. And fits in there like that. There's a base for the fuel. There's my fuel can. Don't give me any crap about being dependent on fuel. I know. It's a short-term bag. And then this was my my kit. Yes, I carry both too. So um, cap guns being smart elk over there. No, he's not. So, <laughs> so this is the setup that until today. I carried in my bag, which, whose soda's in there? Mr. Yeah. Cleans. Yeah, Mr. Cleans. So I'm actually, I'll dump that out later for a Viking preparedness uh, training task three, but not right now. So there's my old stove and my old water, or my pot. And I'm, I'm pleased with it, I really liked it, until I got this. Um, and of course there's a spork in the picture. Sporks are important. So this is a jet boil, and this is all self-contained. Um, I mean, it holds two cups of water, which is just what I need for the trail food that I carry, or oatmeal, or hot chocolate, or granola bars, or whatever. So, what? So, Mr. Clean, will you come separate that for me? Yeah, put your soda con back in the thing. So this is the stove portion. And it's a little bit bigger than the pocket rocket stove. But this portion comes off of this and is protected by that cup that goes on the bottom. And it's all self-contained. And I'll show you in just a second what it looks like packed up. All right, here we are packed up. This is the system that I'm replacing. And you can see its size. I mean, and it's big around. And I'm replacing it with the same size fuel can. But then, I mean, you can see how much smaller the jet boil is than, than my other system. And it's really, really light. And inside there, oh, sorry about the earthquake. Inside there, there's room to put stuff. Like, there's already a lighter in there. I'll probably, I don't know what smack he's talking about over there. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking of uh, hot chocolate packets. I, I was just about to say, <laughs> seasoning. I'll probably put some of that stuff from my bag inside there. Um, which is oatmeal and, and some hot chocolate and, and some cranberries and stuff like that. But I can fill that up because, I mean, this is, that's how much space is in there above the one that goes all the way down. So there's plenty of space to put some of that stuff in there. So I'm really impressed. It boiled water in just over a minute, about a minute and 10 seconds. And as soon as I poured the water out, it cooled down in less than a minute. So you could boil water in a minute, mix up your stuff and be packed up in another minute or two and back on the road. It's pretty impressive. And, and the, I mean, this stove is a good stove. It's lightweight. It uses the same fuel, which is the downfall, I know. But for short term, and this is my get home bag, so that's, you know, and 
where I work and the circle I run is oh, I could be home in less than a day. So if I figure it takes me two days, then this can of fuel will do everything I need it to do. Uh, and then, of course, if it does, it, if it fails, then I have other another option in my bag. Or if I, like if the fuel gets punctured or something, like there is a dent in that one right there. Because it happens. Uh, the one is none and two is one rule. Definitely apply. But I will not be carrying two of these. I'm going to go to the jet boil system. This very evening I'm going to change it. I don't know. So it's, it's a pretty good deal. I'm excited. Thanks for watching. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll uh, get around to Viking training task three. Which is to dump your bag out and... And please don't light that on fire. No, it's not. <laughs> I was just doing the pan. Sure, the whatever. Pan. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Uh, birthday present from my friends versus what I'd come up with. And that actually took me a year or so to save up. I mean, the stove was relatively inexpensive. I think it was about 25 or 30 bucks. Uh, the fuel cans are $5. But this here was another 30 bucks, so it took me a while to save up to get what I liked. Um, versus when people pull it together and and it works better and faster and easier. Oh, the can will fit. Uh, that the smaller fuel can. Yeah, that fuel, fuel can's too big. Okay. Yeah, the smaller fuel can that I have for my little stove will fit in there. Oh, oh okay. I'll have to get a smaller can. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Remember, let's get ready.